The current rate of increase in CO2 levels in the atmosphere has not been seen in the last 50,000 years. Years. Detailed analyses of ancient ice extracted from Antarctica have shown that over the last 50,000 years, there has not been such a rapid increase in the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as we have now. These findings provide new information about periods of rapid climate change in the past and offer new insight into the potential impacts of ongoing climate change. Detailed chemical analyses of ancient Antarctic ice Conducted by a team of scientists led by researchers from Oregon State University and the University of St. Andrews and published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, indicate that the current rate of increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels is 10 times faster than at any other point in our history in the last 50,000 years years. The authors of the publication considered the current rate of CO2 increase in the atmosphere to be unprecedented. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that occurs naturally in the atmosphere. Its too high concentration contributes to the so-called greenhouse effect, also called the greenhouse effect which is the main cause of climate change. In the past, atmospheric CO2 levels fluctuated due to ice age cycles and other natural causes, but are now rising due to greenhouse gases emitted by humans. Studying the past teaches us how different today is. The current rate of CO2 change is truly unprecedented said Kathleen Vent of Oregon State University, lead author of the study. Our research has identified the fastest rate of natural increase in CO2 emissions ever observed. The current rate, largely driven by human greenhouse gas emissions, is 10 times higher, she added. In their work, scientists used ice that had been accumulating in Antarctica for hundreds of thousands of years. It contains tiny samples of the ancient atmosphere, trapped in air bubbles. Ice cores from Antarctica are extracted from depths of up to 3.2 kilometers. Scientists analyze the chemicals they contain and use them to create records of the past climate. Previous research has shown that during the last ice age, which ended around 10,000 years ago, years ago, there were several periods in which carbon dioxide levels rose well above average. However, these measurements were not detailed enough to reveal the full nature of the changes. Using samples from an ice core extracted from West Antarctica, Vent and her colleagues examined what happened during these periods. They identified a pattern that the rise in CO2 levels correlates with cold spells in the North Atlantic, known as Heinrich events which are linked to abrupt climate changes around the world. Heinrich's events are truly extraordinary, said Christo Busett, co-author of the study. We think they are caused by the disappearance of the ice sheet in North America. This sets off a chain reaction that includes changes in tropical monsoons. Westerly winds in the southern hemisphere and large bursts of CO2 emerging from the oceans, he emphasized. During the strongest of these periods of CO2 growth, carbon dioxide levels rose by about 14 parts per million over 55 years, 
with fluctuations occurring about once every 7,000 years. Years. At current rates. It only takes 5 to 6 years to achieve this level of growth. Evidence shows that during previous periods of natural increases in carbon dioxide levels, westerly winds, which play an important role in deep ocean circulation, also increased. This in turn led to the rapid release of CO2 from the Southern Ocean. Other research suggests that these westerly winds will strengthen over the next century due to climate change. The new findings suggest that if this happens, the Southern Ocean's ability to absorb human-generated carbon dioxide will be reduced. Pé do Sol, Pé do Sol, Pé do Sol, Pé do Sol.